Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining this morning's webinar on Microsoft Secure Score. In this presentation, I aim to create clarity on how Secure Score can massively benefit your organization's security posture and important changes you can make to boost your score. I'd like to kick off with a little bit of information on who we are at ADM Computing. We're an IT services and support company based in Kent, covering London, South East and further. We were established in 1984. That makes us around 36 years old now. We have 70 staff, three quarters of whom are technical and service delivery teams. We're also a Microsoft Gold Partner, which I'll talk about in a little bit. And our competencies involve not only exams, but actually deploying the technologies. We're also a highly rated partner with many other industry leading vendors. And we are ISO 9001, 14001, 27001 and Cyber Essentials Plus accredited. I also wanna show you why we're qualified to talk about and support organizations with Microsoft products. As I said, we're a Microsoft Gold Partner and have achieved all of the competencies on the left to the highest standard certified by Microsoft. Now, usually we'd hold an event like this one at the Microsoft head offices in London. Of course, we have had to change this due to the current pandemic. And even though, unfortunately, we're not able to meet all of you face to face at the moment, we can still convey a great deal of information using this webinar format and by taking your questions. If you do have any questions, please pop them in the Q&A box and I'll send an email follow up to all of you with the answers. So now that you know a little bit more about us, I'd like to run through the plan for this morning. In this webinar, I'll be going through the fundamentals of Secure Score and how it actually works. Also, the improvement status and how they're scored. Following this, I'll run through the products that Secure Score is using to define your organization's security. To give you an idea of what Secure Score looks like, I will also give you a brief example of a mock company's dashboard screen. And another important point is how you actually implement Secure Score and understand what you'll be looking at. Finally, I'll be running through some of our upcoming events with an exclusive free training opportunity and relevant contacts. With that said, let's take a dive into the fundamentals of Secure Score. Secure score is a measurement of an organization's security posture. The higher the secure score, the more improvements you've made. Now there are three layers of secure score, which help to report on the current state of the organization's security posture, improve their security posture by providing discoverability, visibility, guidance and control. And finally, compare with benchmarks and establish key performance indicators or KPIs. But how does this all work? Well, you're given points for setting up recommended security features or by performing security related tasks. You can also receive points by addressing the improvement act action with a third party application or software or an alternate mitigation. Some improvement actions only give points when fully completed and some give partial points if they're completed for some devices or some users. If you cannot or do not want to complete one of the improvement actions, you can choose to accept the risk or the remaining risk. Now, Secure School will show you the full set of possible improvements, regardless of license, so you can understand security best practices in your organization and improve your school. Your absolute security posture is represented by Secure Store, which stays the same no matter what product licenses your organization owns. Your Secure Score is updated in real time to reflect the information presented in the visualizations and improvement action pages. It also syncs daily to receive system data about your achieved points for each action. And now that you know a little bit about how Secure Score actually works, let's take a look at the four pillars of improvement statuses. In short, 
there are four levels to improve within secure school. To address, you recognize that the improvement action is necessary and plan to address it at some point in the future. And that also applies to actions which are detected as partially but not fully completed. Planned, this just means there are concrete plans in place to complete the improvement action. You also have risk accepted. Security should always be balanced with usability and not every recommendation will work for your environment. When that is the case, you can choose to accept the risk or remaining risk, as I talked about earlier, and not complete the improvement action. You won't be given any points, but the action will no longer be visible in the list of improvement actions. And you can always view this action in your history page or undo it at any time as well. There's also another one here, resolved through third party and or resolved through alternate mitigation. Now, this means the improvement action has already been addressed by a third party application or software or an internal tool. You'll gain the points that the action is worth, so your score better reflects your overall security posture. I do want to also touch briefly on how these improvement statuses are actually calculated. So each improvement action is worth 10 points or less. If you implement the improvement action, like create a new policy or turn on a specific setting, you get 100% of the points. For other improvement actions, points are given as a percentage of the total configuration. Now, what products are included in this improvement actions and scoring system? Currently, there are recommendations for Microsoft 365, including Exchange Online, Azure AD, Microsoft Defender, ATP, Azure ATP, and Cloud App Security. Recommendations for other security products are coming soon. They are being developed. And one thing I haven't touched on too much for, for a very good reason is what secure score actually looks like. This is for the simple reason that I want you to get all of the relevant information across to you so you understand what you're looking at in the next slide. In the Microsoft Secure Score Overview page, you can see how points are split between these groups and what points are available. The overview page is also the place to get an all up view of the total score, historical trend of your secure score. With benchmark comparisons and prioritized improvement actions that can be taken to improve your score. I'm going to leave that up there for a minute just so you can take a brief look around. I don't want to skip past too fast and I know this webinar is going to run quite short. So I'll let this I'll let you take this in for a moment. So that's the dashboard of uh, a Microsoft Secure Score demo company. You can see you've got your Secure Score graph in the far left, your actions to review in the middle, and your comparisons to your score and organizations like yours on the right. You also have a couple of resources down below where you can read about the Secure Score capabilities. You can do more with the Secure Score API, and this will be involving training and certain tips from Microsoft as well. Down below, it's slightly cut off, but you'll have your history and your messages from Microsoft. So the history tab, like we talked about earlier, is where you can find your uh, options that you chose to accept the risk on and also what you've done in all in the past. 
So again, you have your points split between groups, points available, total score trends, comparisons and prioritized improvement actions. So a lot there just in the dashboard. Now, how do you implement all of this into your organization? If you already have Microsoft 365 in your organization, Secure Score may already be available to you. If you don't have it or want us to take a look at your Secure Score, please do get in touch with your account manager or our sales team. And before I go through some of the relevant contacts and next steps, let's also talk about some of the upcoming events going on with ADM Computing in the next few weeks. On the 26th of June, we have a special event where we'll be joined by Amanda Oakill, Senior Associate of Furley Page Solicitors, and we'll be looking at how employers can ensure a smooth transition back to the workplace after a period of almost three months in lockdown. On the 7th of July, we'll be providing an overview of the Microsoft 365 platform and highlighting the benefits of features that are often overlooked. And on the 14th of July, we'll be taking a deep dive into the security features present in Microsoft 365 and how they can be used to protect your organization data. And that will definitely be one for people watching this webinar because along with Secure School, I'll also be going through quite a few other security tools within Microsoft 365. Finally, we do also have some exclusive free training sessions with one of our partners, Alex Waterton from FKeys. He'll be running through full interactive training on Microsoft Excel, Teams, Outlook, OneNote and Word. So if you'd like to book any of those sessions, any of your colleagues are interested in those sessions, please do get in touch with us. And that brings us to the end of this Microsoft Secure Score webinar. I know it's run quite short today, but I do hope you've all enjoyed it or learned something new this morning. I hope I've covered all the information that you needed. If I haven't, please do get in touch with us. And if you'd like to book on for any of the events I mentioned, please do give me a ring on my direct dial number on screen or drop me an email. Feel free to also drop me an email with any feedback you have on what you'd like to see next. If you would like any advice, training, support, or would like to get Microsoft Secure School for your organization, please don't hesitate to get in touch with one of our brilliant account managers who will take you through the necessary information. You can reach them on the number or email on screen. And one last thing to note is that there will be a recording of this event posted in the very near future on our ADM Computing YouTube channel, which will be sent to you in a follow up email following this event. I will leave all of this contact information up on screen for a couple of minutes so that you're able to take it down. And thank you everyone once again who tuned in today and I'm sure I'll see you all again very soon.